I was going for exodus, what's happening, what's popping, guys. Today, for this topic, how to take $1,000 to 25K, you're going to need to get yourself some water because, yo, <laughs> she's about to get real. Um, today, no fancy edits. I just want to sit down and catch up with you guys and basically share with you guys, you know, my experience when it came to taking a small account to something massive. Now, from $1,000 all the way up to 25K, in 30 days, that's a madness. And um, this video is for people who are wondering, is it possible? Like I have some money with me, you know, so I wanna know, should I use it to quickly pay my house rent? Should I use it to quickly pay my, my school fees? You know, what am I, what should I do with this money? I don't just want to have capital with me and then just give it and then have nothing left. I know this is the thought that is constantly or constantly grows in the minds of most Forex traders. So today I wanna address it and, and I wanna guide you guys on how exactly to take the small capital and turn it into something big right so yes um i'm gonna be showing how i did this and hopefully you guys can use this story to relate to wherever it is you are right now anyways let's cut the crap one thousand dollars to twenty five thousand dollars in 30 days how was i able to do this now guys you have to understand that we have all been in that position in our trading career whereby you know we've almost found i won't say found but we've almost found that strategy that we believe do you understand can really 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 help us out um but the problem is sometimes that strategy still fails us <laughs> don't tell anybody don't tell anybody sometimes the strategy still fail all for us you understand so um that was me um i think this happened about five years ago um i was just no, when was it? I was still in university at the time. So most of you guys who are probably watching this are probably quite young, um, probably still in university, just graduated or looking for something to do. You're looking for a hustle, blah, blah, blah. You have some small capital. I was in that same position as well and my money had just come. So I think at the time my rent was $500 and my pocket money was $400. Guys, mind you, if you're thinking like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. They were, his parents were sending a lot of money. Back then it wasn't that much money. I mean, you know what the exchange rate was back in the days and guys sorry sorry before i carry on please don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash the subscribe button right there give five seconds five four three smash, smash, smash. Ding. <laughs> um back 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 then it wasn't that much money to be honest it was probably like i mean conversion the conversion rate was probably like maybe 200 bucks do you understand 200 250 at best so yeah that was how much i was getting getting sent every month um, half of it was for rent and half of it was for upkeep. You have to understand that I went to school in the UK. Um, so obviously they had to, I had to survive now. You know what I'm saying? So I had to survive. I had to get something to eat, bro. I got something to eat. So one time this 1K came, you know, I was just saying like, come on. At the end of the day, when I divide my pocket money in half between um, upkeep and rent, pay for rent, I have only $500 left for, for upkeep. At the time, even $500 was just basically 340 pounds. 340 pounds, ugh. by the time you buy food, do these, do that, money's gone, right? So I just say to myself, like, I can't carry on like this. So one particular month, the $1,000 came. Hmm. I said, all right, cool, let's go. Um, so at the time I was using a particular broker. I'm not gonna share the name of the broker because those guys pissed me off. <laughs> Don't worry, I recommend you guys a very good broker to use. Um, so the $1,000 came and at the time I had just discovered, I just discovered a particular trading strategy um, with the use of the Fibonacci. So you guys who've been following me for the longest know that I trade an, an approach called the top-down analysis. This is my f preferred way to trade. Why? Because I feel like this is the most realistic way to approach the market. How does it work? I basically go from higher time frame all the way down to lower time frame. So analysis starts from the top so I can see the general overview of the market and I work my way down to a four hour and then one hour for entries. So I mean, before the top-down analysis strategy was formed and became concrete, I had just discovered the Fibonacci pullback. <laughs> I strongly believe that Fibon the Fibonacci tool is one of the most powerful tools in Forex, right? Because, I mean, I was doing my back testing at the time and I found out that oh, any time this market goes up, any guys, as you're watching this right now, you can go check it later on. Look at any swing either to the upside or to the downside. Anytime the market moves, 
and it pulls back, you would always realize that the market always pulls back into the 50 and 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. It's like magnet. You know, there's a, there's a whole analogy as to why that happens, but I'm, I can guarantee you today without any iota of doubt, you see the region between the 50 and 61.8, absolute magic. As a matter of fact, I used it so profitably over the years that I actually named it the Willis Zone. I, I claimed it for myself because it, it worked so well for me and I was just making, like the money was, it was too easy. It was too, you understand, it was, it was just coming quite quickly. And obviously, guys, you have to understand that you guys have to understand that. Sorry, who's texting me? Everybody's trying to get to hold on. Give me a little. <laughs> you guys have to understand that, you know, I mean, I was demoing most of the time. You know, I was trading some small money. And you know when you're demoing on your trades, everything seems to be working out and panning out just fine. So I went ahead and put the $1,000 into my trading account. And then obviously trading started. Luckily for me, and guys, I want also want to share with you guys what happened when I got to 25k. Did I lose it? Did I blow it? Did I, you know, all these things are also very important. Where, how to know when it's time to stop? See this flipping thing? You have to know when it's time to stop, right? So I put the first 1k. You understand? I, I think Euro USD was trending at the time, falling, actually dropping to the downside. Every time the Euro USD dropped, um, I'll just simply drop my Fibonacci from swing high to swing low and wait for it to pull back and I'll jump into the sell. It was so easy, so straightforward. So I taken first of all in two trades. In two trades, I'd put the first trade on. I think my profit was $450, just like that. Ah. And guys, you have to understand that when you're trading the market, see, the trend is your friend. Ideally, you want to be trading the market when the market is trending. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I jumped in. On, luckily for me, the euro dollar was trending, trending at the time. I jumped in, and for every time the euro came down, I'll wait for retracement, and bam. Every time the euro, the euro came down, I'll wait for retracement, and bam. And I was doing that, and I took taking taking the one k from one k to three five. <laughs> And then there comes the next temptation. Okay, my account size has changed. Obviously, my risk profile will change, like my risk appetite. So me, that was just risking normal, you understand, 20, 30% based on my $1,000 account. Now, I've obviously increased my risk. So I remember taking that three, five all the way from, I remember I had two trades that were on at the same time, Euro USD and GBP USD. I had about 2.5 lots open each, high, some high. <laughs> I was doing an absolute madness, you know, so I taking the mark I taking the trade up um, You know I taking the, 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 the my 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 Equity all the way to the upside. I remember one time my balance was three five my floating equity was like 11k or something like that and you know I was keeping everything floating everything was floating nicely and I think once we get to, to go to about twelve thousand dollars I closed the trades out at taking 1k to 12k, you would think that I will go ahead and hit the withdraw button, right? Like as every normal person should do, redraw your money. <laughs> and guys, you see, I've gone ahead to develop one of the most realistic and profitable trading strategies, which is top-down analysis. How I was able to develop this strategy was from all these experiences. So sometimes when I tell you guys, do this, do this, don't do that, don't do that. Best believe I'm speaking <laughs> from years of experience and hot tears, hot tears. You know, so now I had 12K in my, in, in my trading arsenal. Did I redraw even $5? No. Did I redraw $10? No. I was like, okay, we're well, here at 12K. Bam, continue trading again. And then I checked my account size one day and I was all the way up to 28K, above the 25K. And then um, I think I had about five trades open at the time. Now guys, please, I want you guys to pay attention very carefully to this story um, and everything I'm sharing because I see a lot of young traders fall victim to these kind of things as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you're making so much money, you've made so much money, I hear the stories all the time. I see people who see a lot of money coming to their account, but they never ever even get to spend a freaking dime, okay? So listen up carefully. So my account had gone up to 28K, right? So I had equity 28K, then the accounts were floating and everything. It, um, sorry, my trades were floating, you know, at Euro JPY. You know, everything was literally selling off at the time, AUD, USD. I think that was the period I really developed uh, a liking and a passion for Euro US, sorry, for AUD, USD. 
you know so euro usd short AUD usd short usd card long you know i was heavily bullish on usd you know and then i remember just you know living my life guys you don't even understand like i planned if you see the amount of things i had planned to do like i had plans you know so you know you know when you like you can see the money like i plan see if you see the bmw i wanted to go and buy one nice three series <laughs> I tell you, all the girls on campus were going to be in trouble. I'm telling you, like, I had plans. So, at the end of the day, um, it was one particular, was it a Wednesday or a Thursday? Um, and you see, because my confidence has started to grow, I was even helping other people trade, like, do like this, do it like, you know, when, when your trades are playing, you're telling everybody, do it like this, do it like this, do it like this. <laughs> Guys, drop a comment down for me down below if you're feeling this story. If you're feeling this, say I'm feeling it. <laughs> Tell me down below. If you're in this situation, say I'm feeling it. Anyway, so, you know, when, you know, things, everything is panning out well, nicely, you know, you're just doing whatever thing it is you're doing and you're even helping people out. And this particular day, um, I had open, I had trades open. I don't even think I had that many stop losses placed. Um, FOMC came out. I will never forget this particular day. FOMC came out and I had too much exposure. Meaning, what does too much exposure mean? A lot. You see all those trades that were floating because my account balance was 12k at the time. You see all those trades that were floating that took my equity up to 28k. Obviously, um, they were open. They were, they were um, exposed to a certain level of risk at the time. And then the FOMC, the the Fed chairman. Sorry, guys. Let me make sure that my TV is not distracting you guys or bloody lights. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Turn on the lights in here, baby. Extra bright. I've actually missed you guys, you know. You guys are wondering where I've been. I've been cooling off, bro. I've been chilling, enjoying my forex proceeds. And obviously, I've been spending time building with this capital, which I'll share with you guys what I've been up to towards the end of the video. So, anyways, guys, long story short, FOMC came and I will never forget the F the Fed chairman at the time. Her name was Janet Yellen. Janet Yellen came. I don't know. Well, you know this. The problem with all this news release, you never really know what's going, which way is going to go. And you know, and the news release came. I remember I just jumped into USD card. Guys, it's crazy because when you when you start making a lot of money in forex, like when you when you when you're on your winning streak, you stop paying attention to common sense. Imagine I'm getting into USD card at a clear resistance. I was buying, but because the market was trending, I just felt like it will break. It will break it. You know, it will break it. Everything it has put back to Fibonacci. It will break this thing. Nothing is there. And you know, the news release came out, and before I knew what was happening, my equity that was floating in 28k. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the way the market reversed, <laughs> and this is a this is a lesson that I want you guys to learn. Always try as much as possible not to have more than two trades open at every given time. Yes, I know. I get it. Everybody wants to make money quick. But what really messed me up at that time was the fact that I had like six, seven trades open. And the problem is when there's panic, you don't think straight. I, I, at the time, I couldn't really remember why I had gotten into USD card, where the stop loss was supposed to be. And don't forget, it wasn't just USD card, there were seven other different trades. In that split 60 seconds that the market had, and you know, when the news comes out, when it drops, that shit be dropping, right? It a drop, it's crazy, like, whoosh, retracement whoosh, to the upside. And I mean, I, I, I was just like, oh, what's going on? And that's how I just started panic closing trades. Long story short, guys, by the time I was done panic closing all these trades, I the floating equity that was 28k, my account had gone even down into negative from 12k all the way down to 9k. <laughs> At this point, you you are so upset, you're upset with yourself. Um, you don't know what to do. At this point, you want your money back. Phase two. I want my money back. And you see this market, it must give me my money back. Now guys, you have to understand that, um, you have to understand that 
You see, when the market pulls back so suddenly like that, um, especially when you've been making you know X amount of money in it. So for let me give you an, a clear example. The market was trending in a particular direction. It was trending towards the downside. All I was doing was just waiting for pullbacks and I was selling. Don't get me wrong, my strategy was working spot on. And don't worry guys, I'll, I'll show you guys where exactly, actually, let me, cut, let me cut to the chase. You guys want to learn how to use the Willie Zone strategy. It's actually part and parcel of the top-down analysis. Very hyper profitable strategy. You know, I was literally able to take 10K, sorry, 1K all the way up to 25, 28K floating. Um, it's called the top down analysis. If you want to grab uh, the, the strategy, I teach it on the Forex Mastery program. The link is in the description as always. If you just go to the description, you find it there. I'll tell my team to put it around here. So, my very hyper profitable trading strategy. It like, guys, everything that I've learned so far, all these experiences, taking money up, blowing it, making some more, and all that making even a lot more money, all the lessons, all the experiences I teach you on the course, Forex Mastery down below. Um, so yeah, the strategy had helped me so far, but what ended up destroying my account was greed. And the truth is you just need to know when to stop. That's the problem a lot of traders face. It's not even necessarily about the strategy. My strategy works just fine. I mean, how have I been going to how have I been able to make go on to make millions of dollars right now? I just now I just know when it's time to say, okay, that's stop. That's the only difference. Strategies. I'm right nine out of ten times. Anytime I look at a chart, you guys who've been following me for the longest, you know I'm right nine out of ten times. Anyway, so back to the story. Now I'm back to 9K and I'm upset. I'm pissed off. I want my money back. Now, the problem is when you've been trading in a particular direction for so long and it's been making you money, you fail to realize that, okay, what could have, excuse me, what could have caused this pullback? What could have caused this shutting push in the opposite direction? Could it be a trend change? At this point, you're not even thinking trend change. Because I was selling, I just wanted the market to keep on selling. And guess what? I now continued risking a lot more. I jumped on it and I just kept on clicking sell, clicking sell. And before I knew what was happening, I was back down to $4,000. Um, and I remember one trade, guys, hey. I remember one time I was back down to, see, to five. I remember going into the bath, place some trades. I went to the bathroom and I prayed. Have you guys ever prayed to God because of your trades before? <laughs> I've prayed. Trust me, God does not answer the prayer of traders. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. He didn't answer, you know, he didn't answer at the time. And it was just like, and to be honest, in hindsight, I'm glad he didn't answer that prayer because I'll never have learned. I'll never have, you know, learned all the things that I'm sharing with you guys. I'm teaching you guys right now because it was just out of pure greed. I should have closed those trades when I was all the way high up. Guys, I know what I'm telling you guys. Sorry, once again, it's for you up and coming guys. If you know you want to be able to navigate away through this industry, you have to know when it's time, especially for those of you flippers. I have no issues with you flipping. Just know when it's time to stop flipping. And then the last trade that I placed... Funny enough, guys, the last trade that I placed actually took my account all the way back up to 9K. And then I tried to place a couple of trades again. I think I landed at about 7K and I closed the trades and I redrew my $7,000. So, yes, um, moral of the story was I had learned when to stop. I was fortunate enough because the truth is I could have wiped out the entire 1K. But I was still hurt. Um, I wanted my 25, maybe 28K back. Um, but at least I was able to come out of it alive with 7,000 US dollars. So yes, that's how I was able to take my account from 1K all the way up to 25K and ended up settling for 7K. But most people actually and absolutely get wiped out. So what did I learn from this experience? Everything that I learned from this experience and many experiences over the years, like I told you guys, I put everything in the Forex Mastery program. The idea of the course is to basically help you guys cut your learning curve in half. All these crazy experiences that I faced, I tell you, do this, don't do that. Do this and don't do that. Once again, the link to the program is in the description as always. So the question is, what did I learn from this? What I learned, first of all, is that my strategy is absolutely rock solid. The top-down analysis, number one, it works. You flip anything. However, 
what was the most important lesson? Don't have too many trades open at the same time. That is the biggest killer of your trading account. If you have too many accounts, rather too many trades open at the same time, the challenge is when issues arise, because they will arise, they, we have about maybe nine to 12 news releases every single week. You don't know which one is gonna make the market go mad. If you have two trades open, at best three, you know exactly where and how and what was the purpose of getting to those trades. And the use of stop losses as well. Stop losses are extremely, extremely important. Don't listen to those mentors that tell you on the Telegram group, no stop loss, I don't like stop loss. What if you guess it's very and absolutely important. And last but not the least, I've been seeing a lot of things recently on social media, especially Instagram. I see a classroom of people who their mentor is constantly teaching them how to trade the news and then CPI and then they're shouting, I made money, I made money, went up, I made money, money went down. Guys, I used to be part of that kind of community before and I can tell you that it's not sustainable. What you're actually doing is gambling. You're gambling on the fact that the news is going to go in your direction. That literally reduces your, the probability of your trade working out to just 50-50. Anything that is 50-50 is gambling, ladies and gentlemen. There's a very, very thin line between trading and gambling. Do you know what that thin line is? It's called strategic advantage. And if you, the moment you lose your strategic advantage um, by reducing your odds to 50-50, you are gambling. I said gambling and trading are related. They're like brother and sister from the same mother, same father, same household. <laughs> One of them, which is trading, just decided to go to school, university. That's the only difference. <laughs> Guys, want to quote me here? Trading and gambling are brothers and sisters. The only difference is trading decided to go to university and get a degree. Now he's wise enough to know that in order for you to perform very well, you need to have what they call a strategic advantage. But the moment you remove the education from trading, you remove the strategic advantage from trading, ladies and gentlemen, you are as good as a gambler. This is what most people don't like to hear. Now, once again, how do you increase your strategic advantage when it comes to Forex trading? Guys, it doesn't get better than the top-down analysis. Why? And I'll tell you guys why. You see, when I was using the, the Fibonacci um, tool, whilst I was using that, I also was able to develop what they call trend line bounces as well and support and resistance bounce. So I was able to understand what they call key levels. So what the top-down analysis pretty much teaches you how to do is, it teaches you how to trade from an area of confluence. So basically when the market pulls into an area of, uh, so basically the Willis zone actually is where trend line support and Fibonacci all come together to form a strong zone. You see that strong zone, that strong zone increases your strategic advantage. Why? Because for the fact that trend line support and Fibonacci have come together in a particular area that means that area is a very 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 strong area and chances that you're not the only one looking at that area chances that all the big players all the big players are interested in that zone and what is trading at the end of the day you want to be buying when everybody's buying and you want to be selling when everybody's selling so what the top down analysis does for you is it teaches you how to use your trading tools the same way the top traders in the banks and the investment banks and the hedge funds use their trading tools as well so in essence you're going to be seeing what they're seeing and you're going to be trading what they're trading so I'm not going to remind you again, the link to the program is in the description down below or around here somewhere. Grab it and join the Forex Mastery student and I'll be looking forward to helping you guys, coaching you guys and training you guys. Now once again, before I leave this video, before I summarize this video, um, obviously don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But before I go, the question is, should I be doubling or flipping my account? Hmm. <sighs> to be honest, you no longer need to do that anymore because we have what they, there has been the rise of what they call proprietary trading firms, prop firms. Now prop firms, if you don't know what a prop firm is, prop firms are basically institutions, financial institutions that pretty much give you that money to trade for them. So with as little as $99, you can acquire a $10,000 account. Obviously you just need to pass one or two demo phases just to make sure that they can make sure you can trade very well. Um, so with $99, you can buy a $10,000 account with $200, you can buy a 25k account, 300 dollars, 50k, and 500 dollars, 100k account. So, if you have 1,000 dollars now, 
With one thousand dollars, you should be able to get an with with one thousand dollars, you should be able to have access to at least trading capital of at least two hundred thousand US dollars. So it's it's a lot easier when you have big capital and you're trading and growing. What do I mean? When you're flipping, you ha you have to risk more. It's more risk, more risk, more risk, more risk to climb higher. It's a lot more difficult to climb higher. But when you have bigger capital sizes. Just little risk, for example, if you have a 100K account, if you risk $3,000 on a trade, and you don't even need to have crazy trades, if you risk, and another thing is you even take less riskier trades. So, I mean, now you're just looking for a risk to reward of two to one, three to one. If I'm risking $3,000 on a trade, and the risk to reward is three to one, two to one, I know I'm risking 3K to make $9,000. And with prop firms, the money is pretty much your own. You know, guys, so, you no longer have to be doing this, trying to flip money and flip account shit. Just two things you need to do. Grab the top-down analysis, grab the program. Um, make sure that you're absolutely sound, you're pretty ready for the market. Have your strategic and competitive advantage and go ahead and grab yourself a prop account. And you guys are an absolute lock. Um, if you guys do not know, obviously, we've launched one of the best prop firms in the world called Willis Capital. Um, but I'm not going to be talking about, much, um, about it much today. Forex Mastery students, once you grab the program, check in the course. I'll be dropping a discount code for Willis Capital Prop Accounts right there. I think maybe I'm going to do, because I love you guys, I'm going to do 25% off, 30% off. Yes, yeah, so grab the program only for people who have bought the course. Click the link down below, get it. If you're already a Forex Mastery student, you're in luck. Go down. Uh, once I'm done uploading this video, I'll be updating the course right now. It's going to just scroll, look for a place called Willis Capital. Go in there. There's a link there with your promo code. Click the link, go to Willis Capital, copy the, the promo code, and then you can have access to um, any account size as you want. So guys, if you have $500, the best way to spend it is very simple. Get the program. Inside the program, you have a trading account at your disposal. Once again, my, my once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dapolis. It was amazing hanging out with you guys. Not to worry, like I said to you guys, I'm back. I'm absolutely back. More Trader Talk videos. And another good thing about this channel is I always come on here literally every two weeks to drop you guys analysis. So I won't just be obviously teaching you guys how to trade. I'll be showing you guys how to use the top-down analysis with your trading. But for you to access that, you need to smash the subscribe button and drop me a comment if you found this video very helpful. Once again, guys, share yours. Have a fantastic weekend. Adios, motherfuckers, and peace out. Bye. Cheers.